Okay, so this is a video about guns, lights, and holsters. Now, this is a regular taco style holster. It's my OWB Molly holster. And uh, I get questions from people asking about will their gun work in their holster that they ordered with light? Will it work without, a, without the light on it? Will it still stay secure and work? And very often I have to tell them, no, it won't do that even though I've had folks tell me that it will do that on certain guns and holsters, and that's true. But here's, here's the reason why, and I'll show you part of that. So this is a, a Glock 41 OWB Molly and the Olight Valkyrie PL Pro. It goes in there secure. You can tighten it or loosen it right here based on the tensioners, and it works good, nice and secure. So we remove the light. Now we try it. Goes in there nice, but it does this number. And if you want to know why, it's because of the triangulation of a holster. Typically, when you build a holster, you've got to have a triangle, uh, or basically imagine a triangle across the holster. A point here, a point here, and a point down low to help stabilize the gun. In a case of a regular holster, in other words, without a light, you would just be right there at the bottom of the, of the trigger guard assembly. But when you add a light to it, and especially a larger light like this one, and it's not really that huge, you know, there's tons of other lights that are even much, much bigger, all of a sudden, you have to leave all this room around the trigger guard to get the light in and out. Well, you just lost the bottom of your triangle. So basically it's going to do that. Some of my holsters will actually do a little better than that, but most of them, you, you simply, it's a matter of physics. You've lost the third connecting point of the triangle, and that's what they're going to do. And you can't tighten it up enough to square that away without you maybe get it tight enough, and then you're going to be uh, pulling the slide every time you go in and out, and it's going to be uncomfortable and stupid. So anyway, I wanted to show you that, with that light, and I built this holster the other day, and this is a Liberator, I just didn't put the clips on it, but this is for a Glock 19 with an Enforce APLC light. It's a little different. You'll see that this light basically is real close to the slide as far as thickness or width goes, and the other thing is, is it allows the trigger guard to go below it, to hang out below. The light is compact enough to stay up and out of the way. And you can see that reflected here in the holster. Here's the trigger guard imprint. There's the light imprint. So put this thing in there where it's supposed to be, the typical triangle, and it's keying off the light, and it's keying off down here. So we've actually got four points instead of the triangle. We take that out. We take a... Glock 19 without the light, put it back in, and it does pretty darn good, if not perfect, because it's still keying off the bottom of the trigger guard, even without a light on it. So that matters, and that is why, and I hope that uh, that explains it for you. Thank you.